Hey everybody, Rob Maurer here, joined by Editor Jossum. We're going to do some FSD beta testing. We just got 10.0.1, which we're pretty sure is almost identical, and there's probably just a really minor bug fix, but we're going to try it out anyway because we got some time. So we tried to start in the exact same spot we started our other drive at, which was eventful, uh, at the art museum, but they've blocked that road off, so we just got kind of as close as we could to that area, uh, and we're just going to try and do that same route that we did with... 10.0 um, and yeah we'll see how it does again it's so it's Friday night about 6 30 right now and Summerfest is going on so we'll see if it can do the route and if we I don't know if it's gonna hit those two stop signs again but we'll see so again we're just kind of starting in the middle of a random spot here um, and we'll see how it goes there's a car coming now so we'll just put that in and maybe they'll go around us great uh, all right and we'll looks like we're going here. basically the same route. Awesome. All right, so nothing yet available. All right, here we go. I did lower my speed limit offset this time, so we're not going to be driving quite as fast. And we're actually starting off in a little roundabout here. All right. And we're going so fast. Now turn right onto East Michigan Street. What was that blinker for? Nothing. All right, so we got pedestrians here. We got cars. We got a crosswalk. We got basically no lanes. All right, no it's one behind kind of us. stopping for no reason. Yep. I'm not doing anything with the pedal yet because there's no one behind us. So it's stopping at the crosswalk, I think, and just being very cautious, which I don't mind. Again, you can see tons of pedestrians around here. Again, random blinker. Another crosswalk here. No stop sign, we're clear, all right. So that's where we got blocked from uh, our other spot. Okay. Very nice so far. It feels less, it's not accelerating as fast as last time. It does feel so more far. cautious, which I think is probably the speed limit thing. And maybe just the dearth of pedestrians here. So yeah, a whole bunch of them. It kind of moved around this car turning right. Yeah, so that's interesting, which they didn't even have their blinker on. I think it was just kind of like seeing what it can do. Um, well, now we're kind of stuck. And now we got a car, oh, we got a car in front of us. This is very tricky. It seems like it's going to actually let them go first. Um, now we're stuck in the middle of a yellow, and I'm not doing anything yet. Yeah, we got to just go. Okay, so I know that's gonna look bad on the video, but that intersection is very busy right now, way busier than usual, so people are expecting people to have to wait and get through the intersection. That was tricky, I don't know how it would've been able to handle that. Um, okay, we got people here, and okay. It gave them some clearance, went over the yellow. I didn't do anything there, that was great. What was interesting about uh, back there at that intersection too, so it, the path was, following the lead car left actually kind of off of our course and it was like it was trying to figure out if it should go straight or go follow the lead car yeah because it didn't necessarily know i don't know if it could see the lanes ahead of us or not so it may have just been there aren't any <laughs> true yeah that i'm gonna be very interested to watch that again because yeah i saw it just like flickering back and forth it turned the two oncoming cars blue which i'm not exactly sure what that means but i know we've seen it at the stop signs before which I think it's like indicating that it is a potential vehicle that it should yield to or something. I don't know. Um, if you guys know what the blue means in the comments, definitely just let us know. We'll try to look that up too. And maybe just the dearth of pedestrians here. So yeah, a whole bunch of them. It kind of moved around this car turning right. Yeah, so that's interesting, which they didn't even have their blinker on. I think it was just kind of like seeing what it can do. Um, well, now we're kind of stuck. And now we got a car, oh, we got a car in front of us. This is very tricky. It seems like it's going to actually let them go first. Um, now we're stuck in the middle of a yellow, and I'm not doing anything yet. Yeah, we got to just go. But after that, I think that was awesome with how it handled the people. I was... Obviously, I'm going to be a lot more cautious in those circumstances, so I was getting close to just getting us over to the left, because they had, obviously, kids. Um, which are a little bit less predictable at times, so 
I was about ready to just get us over, and it, it went over the double, the solid, um, solid yellow lines, which For, was great. Definitely. And I mean, really just diving into the deep end with that starting point. Yeah, again. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we do it. <laughs> Hopefully the top roof camera picked up all the people, like all the pedestrians walking by, like super busy area yeah. with the music festival going on. So that was tough, but it was interesting. It moved. It didn't wait for the car to turn right. It, which I feel like kind of actually messed us up a little bit. Like it would have been okay if it did that and then went went more aggressive and went back around to the right and just cleared the other car in the same way. But otherwise, we should have probably stayed there and waited because. Obviously, we know a car that's turning left is not going to be able to turn as quickly. Yeah. And planning is complicated. Like, I was I was thinking about saying this on the podcast when I talked about the initial thoughts of 10.1. I feel like perception is getting really good, but the planning still leaves some to be desired. Path planning, because I feel like there aren't many occasions where we feel like it doesn't see something even the stop sign that it ran that one time which I'll, we'll see if we see that again on this drive but I, feel, I think it saw the stop sign it just like didn't react correctly and I feel like a lot of the times I get into disengagement scenarios that's kind of what it is Interesting. and Elon did say at AI day that they North Water Street. he did say at AI day that they're not doing any neural nets in the planning part yet they demonstrated how they would integrate that, but they're not actually doing it yet, so... He said he didn't think that's required, but I don't know. I don't know about that. That, uh, the car approaching the intersection turned blue. Okay. Turn left Even though we had the right away. Yeah. Also, uh, we got an interesting situation here with, uh, the bridge going up. And I don't know if we normally... We normally would have gone straight there, right? Yeah. Okay. We, we, so we just <laughs> rerouted. Um, now turn right onto East Clyde ah, shoot, Street. that's going to take us away from that that construction. Okay. So it's kind of confused if it's got enough room here to get into a turning lane. Which, naturally, I think drivers would also be a little confused. Alright, we got a lot of pedestrians here. Summerfest crowd goers. So we're kind of being right now, pardon my language. Because we should just be farther over to the right so people can get around us, but... There we go. Did okay, yielded. So we did actually... Interesting. That did actually save us time. Okay. Yeah. If it rerouted because the... So there was um, a bridge that went up because a boat was going under the Milwaukee River and we rerouted around it. Maybe, maybe it knew it was going to save some time. I find that very hard to believe, but I'm curious. <laughs> I'll be curious to watch it again and see when it rerouted, or if it was just always that way. Because this, yeah, this is a different route than we went last time, which is kind of annoying. Just for the testing purposes, not in real life. For science. Yeah. So we just had the one, the one disengagement so far. And no interventions aside from that. I have to say, too, I mean, maybe it's just the roads that we're taking, but it does feel a lot more comfortable this time. It feels a lot more it relaxed. It does feel more comfortable. I really think less. it's the speed limit offset thing. <laughs> <laughs> that four miles an hour makes a huge difference <laughs> when you're not exactly super confident in what's happening. It was like the acceleration aspect of it, you know, like yeah. that... that those first zero to five or zero to ten miles an hour. Yeah. It's um, a lot smoother. And you're not in chill mode, right? Nope, same mode as last time. Even for it's testing, I don't know if I can do chill mode. <laughs> Alright, well, we could go around this bus like the truck behind us is doing, but we're not gonna. Here we have a nice solid line. The lines on this road are a lot better than over there a block. What is interesting to me is like why we stop so far behind lines constantly. We have half a car. Like this truck here is not even, they're, 
front bumper and their tires, their tires are behind the line, the front bumper is close to being on the line, and that's not the crosswalk, that's just the stop indication line. And we're like half a car back from that. And I feel like that happens a lot. And I'm not really sure exactly why. But then it kind of leaves you in a weird position of, especially at stop signs, which it sometimes happens at too, it leaves you in a weird position of being like really far back and you kind of just like launch into the intersection then. So I wonder why they code it that way. Beautiful. That was nice. That was really good. That's probably exactly how I would have driven that, except for this, where we stopped. So last time we changed lanes and then got back over for no reason. Yeah. But that so time far, I went into the right one. Dang, guys. We're, this is a little bit more chill than last time. <laughs> we're it's bumping just... up the speed limit offset next time. <laughs> <laughs> it does feel smoother, though. And, I mean, maybe it's not just the speed limit offset. I think it was accelerating more quickly to get up to that speed, though. Okay. All right. Nice. Pretty good. And then here's the parking lot slash road thing again. Less busy today. I'm kind of driving down the middle of it, but that's fine. And there's the end. All right, so not bad, one disengagement. Uh, and we're gonna set up for our next route.